Hey guys. <laughs> Caitlin and Lauren back here today. Um, this is not an interview, Caitlin. <laughs> this is not an interview. Okay, okay. so today we're going to talk about turn ons and turn offs with guys. We all have them. Not. We all have turns on, turn ons and turn offs. Turns on. Okay. Um, anyways. Offset off. What? Anyways. <laughs> Alright, turn ons. We're going to start with turn ons. You do one, I'll do one. Smells good. We all love a man who wears some good clone. And it, it magnetates you towards them. It does. It's like, can yeah. I just have you? Can you like be in my life? Can I know you? <laughs> um, your turn. Big hands, anything big. Okay, and I'm not even being sexual when I say that. I just mean someone that has a big physique. Like, okay, I've totally said that. They no, just they're I mean, tall. They're big bigger hands, builds. Big feet. You know I mean? I'm just a, a big man. You know? I mean, I'm not a short, you know, petite girl. Um, so I've always dated taller guys. I just think that they're just, they're, they're, I don't have a we type. We like what we like, okay? I don't want to say, like, I don't got no type because I like what I like, but I'm very picky when it comes to height because I'm tall myself. So I'm 5'9", so I mean. I'm only 5'6", but I still like someone tall. Yeah, I mean, everyone wants to feel protected. As long as you're taller than me, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. Um, someone who's And no, I was not, um, told to say that. Okay. Not an ad. Gucci. <laughs> okay. Someone who's dedicated and ambitious. Um, obviously, we all appreciate a, a breadwinner and a man who can go to work and someone who's very driven. and Bring wants, home the bacon, you know? They, <laughs> yeah, they want to bring home the bacon. They want to cook the bacon for the family. They want to contribute and be the primary um, And it also gives person. guys a sense of, like, purpose, I feel like, to have sure. something to go to every day. I feel like for guys, like... That is their sole purpose, like what they do for a living, or normal guys. The normal ones out there. Um, your turn. Um, I like an alpha guy. Um, it comes back to like a big guy, I guess. Okay, yes and no, because you can be any type of person and be an alpha male. It just um, kind of depends on your personality, but when I say alpha, I mean someone that like can take control, kind of dominate things. Like, not be controlling, there's a difference. But someone that can say, look, I'm gonna take you out tonight, we're gonna go here, and we're gonna have, something that they can just plan things out and be be the man. Like, and it's not that hard to ask for that. I feel like so many guys nowadays are just like, let's just go, let's just go hang out. Like, I'm not hanging out. What do we do, are we, what are we, friends? Plan a date, come on. Um, <sighs> hygiene. Cut your toenails. <laughs> take a goddamn shower. You fucking pig. Hygiene is just as important for men as it is for women. Right. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to be like, oh, hell no. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, someone that dresses well. And that's not like a, a designer kind of thing. It's just like that you look. Just keep your, your just appearance look put is up together. To look put together. Look like you care about yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, someone who's old-fashioned and shows public display of affection, like holding hands, like sweet little kisses, nothing, not too much. But, um, I'm not saying grope my, my mouth down and like don't slap my ass in my... public, okay? Yeah, like, don't be that person. Just but... someone who's who's sweet and, and wants to show how they feel about you and to the world is very sweet to me. This may be a cliche one, but someone that like respects and like loves our mom, like okay, we all love our mom, but do you treat your mom good? Like yeah. a lot of people like oh. women always look at that, or you should. Yeah. If they don't, that's a telltale sign there's an issue. Yeah, I mean, because then it shows that you were raised well as well. That's just my opinion. Not everyone ha is raised with a mom at all. Some people's moms are not even in their life. But yeah. if your mom's in your life and you do treat her good, then I, I have a lot of respect for that. Because um, my mom's my best friend besides her, so I'm really close to my mom. But we're women, so I mean, that's kind of Yeah. yeah. Um, like Lauren said earlier when we were coming up with these topics, um, it is 2019, so a guy that can cook and clean i mean not that they're expected to but someone who wants to contribute is fantastic. we're not calling you mr mom we're just saying can you cook and clean once that's in a that's a turn on yeah hello like i can cook i'm like wow like like wow that, that's something that just it adds on it's a bonus it's not that you have bonus. to do that it's just nice you know extra bonus i expect you to cook me like some gourmet crock pot meal but like what what anyone can do crock anyone can do a filet mignon rewind <laughs> <laughs> Oh, is it my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. Someone that dominates, and again, it comes back to like being an alpha, like someone that can just, actually it was kind of sexual, wasn't it? Someone that can just take things into their own hands. Yeah. Literally I mean, into their own hands. I like a guy who takes control no matter what. Period. Situation. I like no, a man, I like a manly man. So in the bedroom, outside the bedroom, whatever it may be, I like a, a manly man. 
I want to feel like, oh, I'm an innocent little flower. Come and save what? Yeah. Come and save me. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, someone that just makes you feel, like, protected. Like, oh, there's a thunderstorm. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, it's okay, baby. I got it. It's like, aw. No, he loves me. <laughs> but, yeah, just someone that can protect you and make you feel good. You um, know? And we'll end it here with someone who is proud to have you. Someone who wants to show you off to the world. You know, you're in an open relation. You're in a... Not like that. You're in a relationship to where it's open Public. and everyone knows you're together. Um, I'm not saying be... Okay, because then I hate this. I hate annoying couples that like post their boyfriend-girlfriend every freaking day. I'm not saying Don't, that. Don't. Just be well, humble just let it be about known. it. Let it be known that you're but with someone. Just make it known. We're, we're an item. Turn-offs. Ah! She does thing with, with her mouth. She always does that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, nar- a narcissist. Um... Someone that's all about themselves. Like, they can't do anything wrong. And that's such a freaking turn off because we all have an opinion. We all have different, like, views on things. If you can't, oh, I'm white. If you can't, like, take ownership and responsibility and, like, just understand another person's viewpoint and things that they believe in or that's not always about you, then that's just a, it's a turn off if you're like that. I don't know. I know it all. Don't do it. <laughs> that was it. Just. Because, and also, if you think that you know it all, you miss out on life's lessons. You miss out on a lot of things in life when you think that you know everything. It's just like, you look uneducated at that point if you think you know everything. Um, too sexual, too soon. Like, we don't want dick pics. I don't think guys have <laughs> that's, fully... That's with being in person and on the I phone. I don't think guys have fully grasped that, but we don't want it. I'm sorry, but put it up. I don't want to see your Keep dick Keep it involved. in there. I don't want to see it. <laughs> I want to be... And if anything, I want to be surprised by it. Mm-hmm. Surprise me. And, you know? Um... Someone who belittles you, someone who makes you feel really small, or like someone who makes you feel like you're, you're oh, stupid you're a, for not knowing something. You're a woman. You don't make as much money. I'm the man. You know, just stuff like that. I don't like that. Right. It's just like, mm, bye. Um, and again, controlling. So someone that just thinks that they can just push you around like you're a freaking doormat. No. I have, I'm a human and I have feelings and you can't make me do, th- I'm, because believe it or not, there was a day where I didn't fr- freaking know your ass, so I don't need you in my life if you're going to treat me like that. Yeah. I'll be fine with or without you. No, I want to be that girl. Um, I don't need you, but you know what I mean. Someone who's lazy, get off your fucking ass and do something. <laughs> I don't do lazy because I'm so much the opposite. I'm always doing something. I'm very And when she, when she says that, she means a lazy texter, like, oh, let's hang out. No, it took me on a fucking date. La- no, well, not even texting. Everything. Every, no, I know, I'm saying also with Who texting. Who you want to take me out? Plan a date. I'm not me saying back. for me to hang out with you, I have to be on a date with you. Like, we can go we can go sit in the car and have a long night talk. I'm just saying, if you want to get to know me, it, it's better to ask me out than to just say, let's hang out. Hanging out, it sounds like you're lazy and you don't care about me. I want you to put a little effort into it. You can't buy me a plate of food. Like, I feel like what am I, a lot, like, a gremlin? Like, take me out. Not every, I can take you out too. It's just like a give and take kind of thing. But show me some effort. That's all I'm asking for. Um, a bragger. So, like, nine times out of ten, you're bragging all the time. You just look, like, insecure. Like, you don't have to do that if you have it. Or if you're, like, if you are this shit, you don't have to brag about it. It's just kind of, like, pathetic to me. Your thoughts? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> um, someone who's always on the phone, get off your fucking phone. When you're with me, give me the attention I deserve. Because if they're that important, be with them. I and mean, then honestly. you start to like overthink and you wonder what they're doing on the phone. Unless and it's your mom or your family and like, there's an emergency, then I don't... You shouldn't be on your phone. Like, really. and you can... If we're both Unless just... It's an Uber. I mean, I'm in a... Like, I've been in a long relationship. We'll sit there on our phones all night, but I know he's not doing anything weird. If you're new in the relationship, you should not be on your phone that much. I'm going to leave it at that. Someone that's judgmental, <laughs> like... I'm assuming you would like me if you're taking me out. So don't judge the things that I do or, you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't be like a judgmental person. Like, you have to be open to people and things that they have to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. don't be, don't be, don't, what did I say? I keep stuttering. Don't be judgmental. That's all I'm saying. Um, someone who's overly cocky, no girl wants a gym rat. Um, I like gym rats, but why I don't do want you, you to be oh. like the, that's how you describe yourself though don't do that yeah. be humble have like why do you have to talk so highly of yourself all the time girls I'm the don't like shit. that it's like, or at least we don't girls yeah. to my knowledge do not like that um you know we don't we don't want someone who's confident there's nothing wrong with someone talking confident. about themselves but confidence is different from cockiness it's a beautiful thing to love yourself but and i'm not saying that 
I know like the old fashioned method is that is that women um women what was I gonna say? You took me off oh, you took me off my track. Okay, basically just don't be a cocky motherfucker, okay? What's the next one? Constantly staring at other people. Okay, I don't know if you see a fat ass. If you see a fat ass, you're like, holy shit, it's a fat ass. But don't make it so obvious. And don't be like that big stare all the time. No one, no, no one likes that guy that stares at everybody that walks by. You look like a creeper and a women. widow. I've seen guys who are even married and out with other women that are staring at other women or flirting with the waitress. Literally, what's your fucking problem? <laughs> Calm down. It's not attractive, and other people can see that because I even noticed that. And so that is the turns up... T- <laughs> turn ons and turn off. Turn up. <laughs> and of course, there's so many more, but to us, those are the most important. So we'll see you guys later.